Hey, what's up guys? My name is The Cherno and welcome to episode 21 of Network Chat Programming. Okay, so two things that I want to do today. First of all, I want to kind of um, change around the way that we're kind of doing things. And I know that's kind of a big deal. It sounds like a big deal. It's really not. But right now, what we have going, and this isn't what I would normally do, but um, I just haven't given this much thought, I guess. Uh, we've got this uh, client uh, class. Yeah, client.java. Um, and in this class, we've got two things that I don't like. Well, I guess we've just got two different worlds in one class and that's kind of not a good thing in a way. So what we've got going on here is we've got both the behind the scenes kind of backdoor, backend uh, client to server connection stuff. And then we've got the front end kind of GUI interface thing. And it's not really a good idea to combine the two. It's, I mean, and there's no reason to combine the two, so it's better to split them up, okay? And if we do split them up, which is what we're actually about to do, uh, it will become much, much more apparent. It'll be much easier for you guys to see um, the two different worlds. The world of the GUI and displaying everything to the interface and the world of the server, okay? Well, the, by the server, I mean the client. So the world, of the, the world of the networking that the client handles. All the networking methods will be in their own class. Um, and everything else, like this... Uh, uh, what is it like the the set the send thing will be in its own class as well Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just right click here on Cherno chat and we're going to uh, Go new class. Okay, so we're just gonna create a new class. We're gonna call this one client window Okay, or client interface you can call it whatever you like. I'm just gonna call it client window This is gonna be the window of the client. Okay, obviously obviously our main method is gonna be copied over there so it's actually not even here. It's called login. Okay. Oh, that, that's that's another thing. Okay, then. So main me the main method is in login. Cool. So over here, you can see that we make a new client. Rather than doing that, we're going to make a new client window. All right. And then the window in turn will create its own client. So if that makes sense, the window, the interface handles the uh, the the GUI stuff. Right. So the window, which is the GUI, has its own actual backend. So um, that's fine. So let's go ahead and uh, go into a client. I'm actually just going to close all these server, server, main, server, client, unique identifier, all this stuff that we don't need. I'll close it and just leave the stuff that we do need open. So um, we'll just grab the entire uh, thing over here and we'll just cut that. So this, will, this, will, this episode, well, the first half at least, will involve a lot of uh, kind of refactoring, right? So like copying and pasting, changing names, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> And uh, I believe that it extends J frame. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and then another big thing is the client itself should not extend, extend J frame. Uh, this also will allow um, people to have multiple connections, which is good. So in other words, you could have multiple tabs open, which are connected to multiple chat servers, if you so please. Um, this create window method clearly has to get cut all this stuff. Like there's no point having all this in uh, in in like the client with uh, along with amongst the client networking code like that just sounds weird um, So let's import all that you can see we just imported about 50 things uh, Let's go back. I just hit uh, command shift O there by the way or control shift O if you're on Windows um, And we'll grab so let's say over here so we, pretty much all of this okay So we've got this is nicely divided actually I divide this pretty nicely We've got these the the networking stuff and then we've got the interface stuff so we'll cut the interface stuff and we'll paste it into here so that we get our J panel and everything else we need, all of our text fields. Um, and then uh, open connection will of course stay in, um, open connection will of course stay in the client class. So we'll receive, send, and uh, okay, so console won't. Um, and send won't actually as well. Because send actually calls this send method, which is the real send method. But this is that send method just allows us to send something, so we won't do that. Uh, we'll go over here and paste that into here. Wunderbar, as uh, wunderbar as the uh, as the German folk would say. Now um, we've also got stuff like name, address, and port. I'm actually going to leave that in here, and you'll see why in a minute. Instead of setting this dot name to name, this dot address to address, we're not going to do any of that stuff. We're just simply going to uh, pass that along to the client that we created in a minute here. Um, now let's see. We don't have any errors in here. So I think we're done. So we've got a lot of imports here that we don't need. You can see they're all highlighted in uh, in in like they're underlined in yellow here. 
Um, if you, you can delete them manually or you can just go command shift O again or control shift O on Windows. And as you can see, that'll just sort everything out. So that's uh, Eclipse's organized imports thing. Um, if you're using another IDE, it should have a similar thing, of course. Now, um, let's get into this. I hope that now woke you up because that peaked really, really high on my uh, little audio recorder here. But um, what we're going to do now is create a client, right? So this is a client window. In fact, we got to change the constructor name to client window, to client window, okay? Um, and so we've got all this stuff here and you can see this references a lot of method from the client, right? So we've got something like this send method here, which sends the attempting connection thing. We've got, uh, we've got this opening connection, we've got all these, all these things. So what we need to do here is of course, create a client. So a client window will have an instance of a client. Okay. Private client, client. Um, and this client of course will, will enable the window to connect. So what we need to do is, uh, when we do start this thing, the first thing we should do is go ahead and go client equals new client. So we're creating a new instance of the client with name, address, and port. Okay, and then we can get rid of this. All right, and uh, let's see what that's giving us. So misplaced constructs. Of course, I've forgotten this little semicolon, put it in the wrong place, like an absolute novice. Um, all right, so there's, uh, we actually haven't made a constructor. Oh, okay, we removed the constructor. That's probably not good. So let's go ahead and create a, a, a constructor. So public client string name, uh, string address and int port. I'm going to be pretty lazy here and just uh, simply copy some of these things. So I think, let's see, that stuff, the connect is open connection. That's fine. Oh, okay. That, that's pretty easy then, isn't it? Okay. So all we need to do is, um, is, oh, we have to set up that uh, socket and the uh, net address thing, but we all, but basically let's just go ahead and uh, go ahead and say this dot name equals name this dot um, address equals address equals address and this dot port equals port all right um, and then with that let's see um, all right so an open connection now we can just simply type client dot open connection okay um, and I think that method is uh, private so okay we'll have to go ahead and make most of these things public here so copy paste the public pretty much everywhere. Okay. Um, keep the fields private though. Uh, over here in this send thing, we can go ahead and call client.send. Um, I'm just checking to see if there's any actually important stuff. Now, where do we actually create this? So client.open connection. So open connection. Okay. Open connection is what actually creates the socket as you can see. Now, um, I, I'm just thinking that might not be the best way you have this like entire thing here. Um, we'll, we'll leave it as that for now because we've kind of designed it that way. You could put, you could move the open connection into the constructor for client. Thus, by creating a client, you're actually opening the connection. But uh, we'll keep it as that for now just because that's the way it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, so name. Okay, this is where we have to make a few methods in uh, client. So what we have to do is make a nice string, a getter here. So public string get name. Okay, and this will, of course, as you can probably imagine, return uh, the name. Okay. We'll also make public string a get address, which will return address. I'm not sure that we, why we, why we would use that, but, uh, we do need public int get port, which will return port. Okay. Um, oh, I guess, I guess we could be returning the address for, uh, if, if we just wanted to like debug or if we wanted to just print messages to the console. So send, we change to client dot send. Uh, name we change to client dot get name. Um, and I don't think, I think that's it. Okay. So we don't have any errors anymore. We've got a bunch of, uh, warnings here. Okay. We have to make sure that we implement a default serial ID. You could do a randomly generated one. We don't need that. We're not going to be sending this anywhere. Um, we're good. Okay. We should be good. Um, I'm just quickly skimming through this. So to test this, okay, let's just go ahead and go into server. And we'll just start a quick server here. If you go into server main and you run that, I'm just going to drag this up so you guys can see a bit better. So we've set, we've started a server on that port. Brilliant. We're going to go into, into login and run that. And of course that's going to bring this thing up. So we'll type in yarn for the name, local host and 8192. Let's hit login. Let's see what happens. You can see we attempt a connection. It looks like the server has received our connection here and it's received our name. It's assigned an identifier for ourselves. If we go ahead and say something, Hey, you can see that this gets relayed back to the client. Thus it works. And also the server prints the address. So clearly it's receiving some kind of packet here. Okay. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm actually going to cut it there because it's like 10 minutes long already. Um, if you guys did enjoy it, I would appreciate it if you would hit the like button below. 
because that lets me know that you guys are enjoying it. And of course, that makes me happy. Um, next episode, we're probably going to cover, uh, I guess, a verification that the client has actually connected. Right now, we don't see anything. The client doesn't. We see an attempting a connection, but we don't get any kind of confirmation to that. So that should probably happen. Um, and after that, we'll probably actually work on adding more clients and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Network Chat Programming, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you.